In this video, we will calculate a building's heat loss according to the standard EN12A31. In order to calculate the building's heat loss, we first have to create its model based on the floor plan drawings. So we attach a drawing file of the floor plan to each floor. Let's start by entering each floor's rooms. For each room, we have to enter its name, dimensions and design temperature. Instead of typing the name or selecting it from the list of predefined room names, we can select it from the drawing. Click text and then click the text in the drawing. The room dimensions can also be selected from the drawing itself. Now let's add some more rooms. Next, we will have to enter each room's surfaces. For the living room's north facade, we select its construction type and by clicking Measure, we can measure its dimensions in the floor plan. The facade's openings have to be entered in the table that opens by clicking the cross icon on the left of the row. We can either type the dimensions, measure them in the drawing, or get them from the openings legend block. Each openings area is subtracted from the area of the facade. So every time we add an opening or another subsurface on the facade, the facade's area is reduced by the subsurface's area. On the facade, there is also a concrete wall that has to be added. Finally, we have to add the thermal bridges. Thermal bridges caused by openings are calculated automatically for each opening, so we only have to add one thermal bridge for the external wall angle and one for the joint of the brick wall with the concrete wall. Let's move on to the west facade. Select the construction type and measure its length in the drawing. We also add its door. A part of the south facade is exposed to the outside air. Another part faces the skylight and another faces the stairway, the last two being unheated spaces. This floor is a ground floor, so we add a slab on grade. As our building is a single floor one, we also have to add a roof. The room's model is ready. The details for the rest of the rooms can be entered using the same procedure. After the model is finished, the heat loss can be calculated. The total heat loss is the sum of heat loss due to transmission, ventilation and air filtration. The room's total heat loss is also called its heat load. We can get a printout of the room list and the heat losses by clicking here. Now let us see how our model responds to some design changes. Changing a room's design temperature, the heat loss of its floor and apartment, and the whole building's heat loss changes. The same thing happens if we increase the number of air changes, most commonly found in classrooms and bathrooms. 
We can also easily observe a model's behavior to changes such as the external temperature. 